Welcome to Electron Line. Here we have another interesting problem for you. We have a spring. When it's unstretched, it has a length of L. And then it's being stretched at a constant velocity, V equals constant, in the time equal to T. And it's stretched a length of 5L. Now the question is, what is the instantaneous power the moment x is equal to 3L. In other words, that the stretch length is 2L on top of the length of the spring would be total of 3L. So what is the instantaneous power at that moment? So the way to tackle that is to first figure out what the average power is. So you can see by definition the average power is going to be equal to the total work done divided by the total time that it takes. And of course, the total work done to stretch it from L to 5L, well, that would be equal to 1 half kx squared, which is the amount of potential energy put into the spring, that's the work done to do that, divided by the time that it took. And of course, x in this case will be 4 times L, so this would be equal to 1 half times k times 4L squared divided by time, and so 4 squared would be 16, divided by 2 would be 8, so this would be 8KL squared divided by T. And so that would be the average power required to stretch the string from L to 5L. Now let's solve for K. So then we can say that K is equal to the average power times T divided by 8L squared. So I bring the 8L squared down and the T up, I have K equals power average times T when we bring the T over here and divide both sides by 8 and L squared. So now we we'll also have an expression for K. And this is the average power. Now I'm going to find the instantaneous power. And the instantaneous power is going to be equal to the force instantaneous at that point times the velocity at that moment in time. But of course, in this case, the velocity is constant, so that doesn't change. But the force changes, because the force is going to be equal to k times x. So in this case, we could say that the instantaneous power is going to be the force, that would be k, times x, times v, v being a constant. And x in this case would be 2L, because, well, I have to be careful here, when x equals 3L, but the stretch length is only 2L. So this would be the stretch length, 2L. So we have to be careful because we're going to get confused. This x is not the same as this x. That's the total length. So this would be x total is equal to 3L, but x is only equal to 2L because it's the length plus an additional 2L. So here I should say x total equals to 3L. So we make distinction there. And X is just a general variable X. So the instantaneous power is equal to K. Now we have a, a value for K that would be the average power times T divided by 8L squared. We multiply that times X. Now X in this case will be 2 times L because we stretched it an additional 2L over the already original length L, and then we we'll multiply it times V. Now this L will cancel out this L, and this 2 will cancel out this 8 becomes a 4. That means the instantaneous power is going to be equal to the average power times T divided by, uh, times V divided by 4L. 4 times L. Now, I guess we can relate V and T. So we can either keep the T or we can keep the V. But notice that um, uh, distance equals velocity times time, which means the distance to stretch at 4L, we can say 4L is equal to V times T. That means that V is equal to 4L divided by t, or t is equal to 4L divided by v. So we can make that distinction here, so that can come in here. We can replace either t or v, depending upon 
what variable we want to keep and what variable we want to get rid of. But if we want to get rid of the t, then we can see that this is equal to p average. The t is 4L over v. 4L over v. v in the numerator, 4L in the denominator. And notice 4L cancels 4L, v cancels v. And that means, this is interesting, but important, which means that the instantaneous power is equal to this, but also it's equal to the average power because it turns out that we're calculating the instantaneous power at the halfway point from where the stretched length is zero to where the stretched length is 4L. And so at the in-between point when the stretched length is 2L, that means that the instantaneous power also happens to be equal to the average power. It's kind of an interesting observation. But anyway, we can say that the instantaneous power can be written in terms of the time, the velocity, and the length, and the average power like this. And that is how that's done.